Hey guys, Ralph with Stray Benzes here today. And uh, I've got a topic from you that some of you may or may not know, but some of the uh, late 80s type Benzes, especially the 126, 124 series, the 129, the 140, and even the one, you know, the, the 190, the 201, 202 chassis, and some, even some of the 210 chassis Benzes had the OBD1 diagnostic system. So today I got one of these little things, a rather cheap method LED based tester, and I'll show you how to do it, and I'll show you exactly what you might encounter right away. So what I'm talking about is this, this plug right here, you can see this is the 8 pin variety, you've got the ignition on 2 and I'll show you what I've got here. This is Uh, this is something that you can find on the internet a very cheap homemade device that some of you who are electrically uh, inclined you can probably even do it yourself comes with a little bit of instruction and downloads for the codes um, on the 8 pin the red one goes onto the battery and See if we can zoom in a little bit on the code reader as well as the socket. Here is the instruction cheat sheet. And you simply plug in the black one in number one. And here I only have two sockets six and seven I don't think any of the other ones no nope. only six and seven have a um, a connection here and I get later when another video into exactly like what the codes might mean but you press on the button for a second or two and what will come up is your code that you can then go online and read what your code might be for a whole variety of cars that have OBD1 plugs. Overall it's definitely worth its money. There's one small little pro problem with ben old Benzes. Don't ask me why but uh, when for instance this LED is lit the moment that you plug it in Most likely what has happened is that your uh, Relays one of them has cobwebs. There's a stuck relay or something and unfortunately it does not tell you which one so you're gonna have to open up the the, the, the black box over there with the relays uh, and unplug one after the other and see which one is causing for that one to be on. You clear the codes by, um, once you have identified what it was, you reset the code by just hitting the um, red button here after the code has come up. So if this one finally goes through, hit it for eight seconds and it's supposed to clear the code. And sometimes that does help you identify issues all right folks i'm not endorsing this product or any others but uh good luck there are plenty of these gizmos online and and um ebay um give them a try because if you're stuck somehow and that can help you identify a problem with your with your car well why wouldn't you spend a couple of bucks to go ahead and go ahead and do you do you any good and the uh, the car of course happy ranching give me a like uh, forward it to friends who could use and could benefit from the video and until until some other time happy ranching keep your classics on the road until then bye